straight away. A spirited breakaway led off by Stefan Bissiger. Well, the seven got themselves off and up the road and the chase began. Various incarnations of pursuit there were, but in the end, it was all about the climbs. Once we got to those opening tests, UAE were still thinking about glory and potentially, of course, a good finish, as always, it seems, for Alexander Krisov and possibly for Matteo Trentin. Other teams, of course, had their options, but there were three favourites. Mathieu van der Poel, defending champion from the Netherlands. Wout van Aert doing it for Belgium, who got beaten last year at the line by van der Poel. And, of course, Julian Alaphilippe. Alaphilippe was the first to roll the dice out of a group of favourites in pursuit of those out front. And as the breakaway started to fracture, it was just Bissiger who'd started the move that was bridged to by Alaphilippe himself. The world champion checking over his shoulder. And when he looked back, of course, who was there? But charging him down, Mathieu van der Poel, in a quality group that also included Wout van Aert. Were we destined to have the same three faces up front? Well, others were determined that that wouldn't be the case, and Hendrik Hausler it was that pushed out for glory for the Bahrain team. Well, temptation hung in the air here. With just 39 kilometres to go, still plenty of climbing, and Mathieu van der Poel decided to put the hurt on Wout van Aert early on. This was to shake out Alaphilippe as well. Alaphilippe did not have the same legs as his teammate Kasper Askren carrying great form out of the E3 which he had won. Well, if Askren asked the question, then Alaphilippe said, here's your ticket to ride, and away went the Danish champion. On his wheel, almost immediately, Wout van Aert and of course Mathieu van der Poel. Alaphilippe seemed to be content to sit in the group just behind a group that had been bridged to by Anthony Turgis from Total Direct Energy. So we thought it would be a three-up push for the line, but how would they shake each other out? Well, that question was answered on the final test before the flat run for home. Wout van Aert weaving all over the road on the Paterberg. That left Mathieu van der Poel and Askreen together. Favourite had to be Mathieu van der Poel as uh, Wout van Aert was swallowed up by a quality group led by Dylan van Baal for Ineos Grenadiers. Well, they held on to the advantage, and in the end, we knew we were going to have a sprint. Well, do unto others as they would do unto you. Matthew van der Poel beat Wout van Aert in a two-up sprint. Minor places were being bid for, and Greg van Avermaet was determined to have a Belgian representation upon the podium steps. Well, Mathieu van der Poel had to be favourites, but Kasper Askreen is in such great form. The Danish champion came around the outside, and then with 50 metres to go, this happened. Mathieu van der Poel blew up, and Kasper Askreen had just that extra something to get to the line. Van der Poel first to congratulate him, now tasting, I guess, the bitter moment that Wout van Aert had suffered the year prior. Greg van Avermaet came to the line. To